Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. As you guys probably don't know, I work up at Calico Ghost Town as I do the pottery. If you guys watched a couple of the other videos that I do, I make pottery, I glaze it, everything by hand and everything like that. So I'm gonna bring you guys up to work today. We do have a festival coming up of the Bluegrass Festival, so I'm gonna make sure to put that into a vlog for you guys. I wanna bring more vlogs and stuff to the channel instead of just, you know, like pure gaming everything that I've been doing lately. I wanna try and mix it up a little bit, do something a little bit different. I think my friend Rachel's gonna be up there, so that's gonna be the first time you guys are gonna see her. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys up to work with me today. I'm gonna actually record a little bits and pieces of me doing the pottery work. I'm gonna show you guys what work that I kinda do. Um, if you guys have seen the other couple videos that I've done, I have actually done the cherry blossom set. I've painted the Mario and Luigi symbol on coasters. I think I've done a teapot as well. And one other thing, I can't remember exactly. So here we go. All right, you guys, we just got up here right now, but I'm gonna show you guys because the kiln was all done and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that's inside of the kiln and all that stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool, especially when you get, when it goes into the kiln, it looks like basic because it has all the basic paint onto it, just dried onto it, and then you put it in the kiln and you lift up that lid and everything is just so breathtaking and different that it's almost, it's it's like you get that, it's hard to explain because it's your work that you did, so I'm sure that a lot of you guys know what I'm doing. No, I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you here. Here it is. Let's see what we got in here. Oh my god, look how awesome these are. These two my mom actually just did. They're supposed to be um, wine glass holders. And the big wine bottles, they would actually go in here and they lean over on the side into them. Um, these are our crystal glazes that we do. We have tons of them that we do up here for it. And then we got a normal mug, normal cross, and then we got another layer underneath it. So let's go ahead and unload this and I'll show you guys everything after. Alright, so that was everything that was inside of the kiln right there. I mean, if I could show you guys what it would look like, like originally, when we first put it into the kiln, it kind of looks like this and everything for it. Now this is just on a basic crystal glaze for it. And as it goes into the kiln, it's fired at a cone six, which is around 2000 degrees. And actually when it does it, those small crystals on it, they pop and they make it look like, see how there's all those little dots and everything onto it? That's what those crystals and everything will do when it hits a certain temperature. So that's what's so cool about it, and that's why every single piece that is made with crystal glaze is unique. I mean, everything you do with ceramics or whatever is unique and everything. But here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the stuff that we have in the back that we can paint into it. All right, so these are just a couple of the things that we have. So we got a little dog mug right here, we got a little cat piggy bank, we got crosses. These are really, really cool because I know that a lot of people drink coffee, especially in my family. So I was gonna do custom ones with their names onto it, everything up here. I mean, even up here is silicone, so of course it's gotta be removed. But we got other ones up here. We got the cat mug. We got little fishies up here. Those are back there from the Halloween event that we did. We never got them finished. Uh, we got other ones down here. Chicken, little um, bowls. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get those bowls done for my teacher. She wanted to do an order for them. I'll do it. Tell you guys about that one later. We got little cactuses over here as well. These ones over here. These ones are all of our clay motion stuff that we get from Oregon and whatnot. Then we got all of our mugs and stuff down here. That's where I do a lot of the things for a custom work because a lot of people love the mugs that I do. Then we got a couple of other things back over here too that we have. I mean, if there's ever anything that we need, we can just go down to the Strandwick Warehouse down below in Chino and the person down there can actually make this up for us too.
All right, you guys, it is now 5.10, exactly. So it's closing time and everything like that. But I wanted to show you guys the final products of everything. So as you saw from that little compilation that I put up for you guys, I went ahead and did not just one of those molds. No, 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 no. I did six of these, six of them, as you guys can see from right here, four right there, three sitting over there in that corner, just chilling, you know, they're, they're doing stuff. But this one, I really like this one. I really do. I mean, look at this. Oh my Lord. I can't even hold it that well, but look at that. Cause the light, let's see. Ooh, look at that. And while I was painting it up there, I wish I could have had it in there for it. As I was painting it up there, I had three people come up and they asked if, if it was, if they could buy it literally as I'm painting it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Here you go. All right, but that's going to do it for this episode or video or whatever you guys want to call it right now. I thought I'd try something up a little bit different. Again, there is a vlog going to be coming up this weekend. If not this weekend, definitely um, the couple days following this weekend because it is Saturday is when I will be recording everything for the festival. And then I'll have to put everything together and hopefully Rachel does come up that way I can have someone else do the videos because usually it's just me. And even though it's not hard to do it, I want you guys to see like other people with me. So. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, something a little bit different, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Also, leave down in the comments below if you guys like this type of stuff, if you want me to do more, like more vlogs, take you guys with me. I mean, I'm mine. <laughs> um, my college classes that I have to do, I have to go in there and do actual experiments and everything like that. And I think the teacher will allow me to do that too. So I could probably put the camera right there and have it record as we're doing the experiments and everything like that. I mean, we use all the chemicals, we use the microscopes, electron microscopes and all those type of things. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see that as well. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of something a little bit different and I will catch you guys in that next one. Peace out.